now the question is how to obtain the third equation because there are three unknowns i1 i2 and i3 so to get the third equation we have to consider the fact that this four amperes current source is uh, being shared by two different meshes so whenever there's a current source between two meshes you can see that in this case this four ampere current will have two paths i2 is the current flowing through this current source in mesh 2 in downward direction and i3 is uh, flowing through uh, mesh 3 in upward direction so i2 is flowing in downward direction i3 is flowing in upward direction so that means this current source value has to be the difference between i2 and i3 the value of the current source is 4 that means 4 will be the difference between i2 and i3 now the question is whether i2 minus i3 will be 4 or i3 minus i2 will be 4 that depends upon the direction of the current source because the direction of the current source is upward which is also the direction of i3 we take the difference as i3 minus i2 because we want 4 amperes to be equivalent current and which is flowing in upward direction so i repeat if the direction of the current source upward in this case which is same as current of i3 also upward then we take 4 ampere equal to i3 minus i2 so the third equation that i'm going to get is with respect to this current source which is i3 minus i2 equal to 4 so I'll just write it in proper order minus I2 plus I3 equal to 4 and this becomes my third equation. So we have got three equations. There are three unknowns. You can solve these three equations either in calculator or using Kramer's rule that we have discussed before. So on solving these three equations, you get the value of I1, I2 and I3 as I1 will be minus 2.35 amperes. I2 will be minus 2.78 amperes and i3 will be 1.22 amperes current can be negative also because if the direction that we have assumed is opposite to the actual direction then the value of the current will come out to be negative for example i1 is minus 2.35 so if you take clockwise direction of i1 it is minus 2.35 but if, if we had taken anti-clockwise direction then we would have got plus 2.35 so positive current in the first loop is flowing in anti-clockwise direction in the beginning we always assume clockwise directions and hence based on that we will get positive or negative value now the question was to get current through 10 ohm resistors current through 10 ohm resistor in downward direction will be i1 minus i2 in upward direction will be i2 minus i1 when no direction is mentioned it is totally up to us what direction we want to take so what i'll do is i'll assume current through 10 ohm in downward direction in downward direction it is i1 minus i2 and hence we get i1 minus i2 as i1 is minus 2.35 and uh, i2 is also negative so it will be minus of minus 2.78 so if you solve this it will be 0.43 amperes you can see this comes out to be positive value that means the actual current through 10 ohm flows in the downward direction with the positive value of 0.43 amperes if we had taken upward direction current we would have done i2 minus i1 that would have given us minus 0.43 ampere which also would have been not incorrect considering the direction of the current all right so i10 ohm is 0.43 ampere please mention the direction saying that it is flowing in downward direction so if i take it as upward then it will be minus 0.43 ampere both will be exactly correct answers